Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful official channel. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for Wednesday, September 11, 2024, are here. In tomorrow's episode, expect Will Spencer to play Cupid with Bill Spencer. However, what does this entail for Bill and Katie's existing partners? Meanwhile, Taylor Hayes cautions Steffi Forrester Finnegan about Hope Logan. Keep reading to find out what is coming up in the CBS soap drama. And be spoilers for Wednesday, September 11, show that Will seeks to reunite his parents. Will questioned Katie about her feelings for Bill. While Katie said she loves Bill as Will's father, she also believes he's changed for the better. Will added that he didn't need his parents back together but felt his mother deserved to be happy. Right now, Katie is with Carter Walton, Lawrence St. Victor. However, Will must know that Carter doesn't kindle the fire in Katie's heart. Even though Bill and Penelope Poppy Nozawa, Romy Park, are technically still together, they don't know what the future holds. Poppy told Bill that she will be spending more time with Lee Finnegan, Naomi Matsuda. That sounds like a bit of a divide to be honest. Even if Bill and Poppy genuinely want to continue together, they will have opposition. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for Wednesday, September 11 hint that Taylor will warn Steffi about hope. At Eric Forrester's, John McCook, dinner to celebrate Steffi's safe return, Hope ogled at John, Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin. While Hope was fawning over Finn, Taylor was watching. When Taylor tells Steffi about hope, there could be a dramatic deed. It is speculated that Steffi strikes back and Hope will set her sights on a new man coming fall. Will this new man be Hope's soulmate or just a brief distraction from Finn? Fans might also see what happens to Poppy next. Will Poppy stay with Lee and continue playing on our screens? What potential romantic interests could Poppy be hooked up with next? Or could Poppy opt to leave town and have a fresh start somewhere new? There is also R.J. Forrester, Joshua Hoffman, and Zend Forrester Dominguez, Delon de Metz. While RJ and Zend bond following Steffi's Luna bombshell, it seems another feud is just over the horizon. If Luna somehow avoids prison, may RJ and Zend's feud reignite. The bold and the beautiful spoilers indicate Luna Nozawa, Lisa Yamada, has officially departed the building on the CBS soap. There's virtually no other place for Luna to go after being charged with two murders and a kidnapping, except for behind bars. And several of the B&B cast seemingly said goodbye to Yamada. But is Luna or Yeoi gone? Keep reading to find out. Here's what's coming up next on Bold and Beautiful. When Luna Nozawa was carried away in handcuffs and jailed for killing Tom Starr, Clint Howard, and Hollis and kidnapping Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline Massins would. It seemed pretty clear we wouldn't be seeing much more of the character. Sure, there may be a chance prison visit and court hearing, but the choices appear very restricted for Yamada's character. Yamada's co-star Naomi Matsuda, Lee Finnegan, took to Instagram after Luna was detained and published a photo of herself posing with the young actor. Matusta seemed to be bidding farewell to her co-star now, that Luna's plot had wound up. The B&B actress added in the caption, So much fun working with Lisa Yamada, incredible gifted actress here. Lisa's work is truly so natural, and beyond, I am looking forward to working with her again very soon. Lisa is a star to keep watching. That sounds like a send-off. Right there are some bold and beautiful rumors going around about a Luna prison escape that would offer Yamada a little extra screen time. At the end of the day, she would still be a killer on the run, and it's not like she could hang out at Forrester Creations every day and continue to be a regular member of the ensemble. Sadly, it looks like this might really be curtains for Lisa Yamada. Are you sad to see the actress go? The bold and the beautiful spoilers indicate SIN's happily ever after might be short-lived on the CBS serial. Next week, Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline Massins Wood, and Dr. John Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, 
will continue to revel in their restored relationship. But the love fest won't endure if Hope Logan, Anika Noel, has anything to say about it. Here's what's coming up next on Bold and Beautiful. Spoilers ahead according to next week's B and B spoilers. News of Steffi Forrester's stunning kidnapping and Finn's heroic rescue will make its way to the Logan women. Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang, will scold her daughter again about keeping her hands off married guys. Yes, we all see the irony, but it looks like Hope has a mind of her own. The bold and the beautiful viewers are shocked that no one in Hope Logan's life appears really concerned about her mental health or unusual behavior. Rather than questioning herself why Hope can't control herself and stay away from the good doctor, Brooke is more concerned with keeping the foresters pleased. Rumor has it Liam Spencer, Scott Clifton, will be the one to finally sound some alarm bells. He can tell something is not right with his ex-wife. Ben B teasers reveal Hope Logan will tell her mom next week that she's done kissing Steffi's husband and looks to be truly trying to get her life back on track. But it's all an act. Once Hope gets her mom off her back, it will only be a matter of time before she is caught hanging around Finn's office or trying to score a personal headache massage. Hope's last unwanted kiss almost made Finn a divorce, so he will most likely be hesitant to spending any alone time with his wife's competitor. But bold and beautiful spoilers tease Hope Logan could attack again and corner the good doctor somewhere. Do you think anything is terribly wrong with Hope, or does she have no regard for marriage? Will Finn be able to convince his wife that Hope is to blame A.G.A.N.? The bold and the beautiful spoilers state that Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline Massins Wood, declined to go to the hospital after her kidnapping by Luna Nozawa, Lisa Yamada. However, John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, checked Steffi out and she seemed to be well. Unfortunately, Finn urged that Steffi drink water in Luna's apartment that he felt had not been tampered with. Did Finn make a terrible mistake? The bold and the beautiful spoilers say that Steffi refused to drink anything from the apartment because Luna had previously drugged her once. Steffi wouldn't touch any of the water that Luna had given her the whole time she was there. However, Finn assumed it was safe because the seal wasn't broken. Could it have been drugged anyway? Luna was feeding Steffi water from the same case of water that Finn pulled on from. Luna may have been using powder to sedate her victims, but what if she had injected something into those bottle in an attempt to induce Steffi to drink from them, if she had to break the seal herself? Could Luna have drugged all of the water in the apartment? Finn realized that Steffi needed water and made the presumption that it was okay based on the seal. However, what if the water has been tampered with? What happens if Steffi were to collapse again and additional narcotics were found in her system? Finn may go down as an accessory to Luna. Finn may possibly be convicted of this, especially if Steffi dies. Did Finn accidentally drug his wife again? Will Steffi survive if any more of that drug gets shoved into her system? Finn would never purposely hurt his wife. However, Finn also should have known not to trust any drinks in that place. What if Steffi were to perish from that water? Finn could be accused of his wife's murder and could likely lose everything if this happens. Will this become an issue now that Steffi is free? Thanks for watching, everyone. What do you think will happen next? We love hearing from you.